How long does insulation last? Let's talk about it. So in theory, insulation can last as long as your house is standing, but let's really think about that. And let's first think about the materials that you might be using for insulation. For instance, let's look at fiberglass, which is probably the most common well-known type of insulation. If you have a house that's 50, 70, 80, 100 years old, you might have fiberglass insulation in there and it might be as old as the house, you know, from when it was originally built. With that said, is the fiberglass physically still in place? Well, a lot of times, yes. But the question is, does that mean it's actually working? Is it as effective as it was the day it was installed? How much has it degraded? Is it making your house worse? These are important things to think about because we don't just want to think about how long does this material exist for? How long is it making your house more comfortable and energy efficient? When we look at that fiberglass, anytime you go up in your attic, your crawl space, or if you do a remodel and you look at fiberglass and that once fluffy, pink, beautiful fiberglass is now kind of torn up, it's falling apart a little bit. Maybe there's uh, some dark gray or even black spots in it where it realistically was acting as a filter. Those dark colors you see in fiberglass is really what that is. It's dust and other things being collected as air passes through it, kind of acting as a filter. And if we keep that filter mindset in place for a second, think about your furnace filter. Can you physically leave your furnace filter in place for years? Yes, but do you need to replace it to keep that furnace functioning properly and efficiently? Absolutely. Fiberglass works really similar. Yes, it might physically be there, but it has degraded over time. So you need to replace it. How often? That's the million dollar question and every house is going to be different. Some houses we've seen, you have to replace it every few years. Some houses it might last decades. It really depends on your situation, but it will need to be replaced. Whereas you look at a product like foam, it's really designed to be installed once and stay there as long as the home is standing. So again, when you look at a product like that, yes, of course it costs more, but when you think about the replacement and the upkeep cost and things like that, that doesn't come along with foam insulation and you factor in that it just performs better as far as heat retention, cold retention, and air sealing, really you start to see a value difference when you look at something like fiberglass. So when we think about how long does insulation last in your house, we really need to ask ourselves, how long will it work for? How long will it be effective in your house? And typically foam insulation contractors will give a warranty that is way longer than fiberglass insulation, oftentimes the lifetime of the building. When you're looking at fiberglass as a possible cost saving measure, ask how long it's going to last. If you happen to find a fiberglass contractor who will come at no cost and replace that fiberglass, maybe, maybe that's something to consider, but you probably won't find that. So again, when you look at longevity, there's a major difference in how long something can exist and how long it's actually going to work. That's a major difference with foam. So if you think your house has that original fiberglass in your exterior walls, you're in luck because at Retrofoam, we specialize in insulating those existing walls with injection foam insulation. Go to our link below to our find a dealer page where you can find your local Retrofoam dealer and they can make your home more comfortable today. This is the Professor of Foam reminding you that building is a science.